and the leaders of the formulas fighting for the presidency of Guatemala increased their proselytizing activity less than 15 days before the polls on August the 20th. While they await the decisions of the judicial bodies, Bernardo Arevalo, the candidate of the Semilla movement, and Sandra Torres, candidate of the National Unity for Hope, are running their campaigns throughout the nation. There, they have tried to convince this weekend millions of citizens overwhelmed by the serious crisis the country is going through. The campaign will end on Friday 18th, 36 hours before the electoral process. In the department of Esquintla, in the central south of the country, Arevalo promised to fight corruption. Ten days from today, we are going to say no to this state of corruption to start a new chapter, the new chapter of a country that respects itself by voting for respect of our people, of a country that believes in itself and believes in its ability to build a decent, transparent, harmonious and peaceful future, where welfare is built leader by leader with effort but will reach everyone and everywhere, and not this chapter where we live now. For her part, Sandra Torres, candidate of the National Union for Hope, called in the metropolitan area of the Department of Guatemala to go to the polls on August 20th as the only way to guarantee social peace. I come today to ask you to continue to support me and to go out and vote next August 20, 15 days to return peace and tranquility to our people. Today, as a political party, we have left aside the political antennas and the color of our parties to work for you. To achieve unity for our country and to achieve tranquility and social peace that we all want and dream of.